largest youth football organization has implemented safety changes to try to reduce concussions. Pop Warner football is restricting head-on and full-speed contact during practice. The changes come on the heels of studies that show the devastating impact these hard hits can have on young players. I discussed this issue with Dr. Rob Rayberg, an associate professor and coordinator of athletic training clinical education at William Patterson University. Well, the new rules that Pop Warner has implemented is going to significantly decrease the amount of, uh, of contact during practices during the week that players uh, are engaged in to help minimize the, uh, the possibility of concussion because they're just quite simply not hitting each other as much during the, uh, during the week. Now, what I found very surprising from reading about this issue is that a lot of these hard hits occur mostly during practice. Is that correct? That's right. In fact, some studies show that more concussions are sustained in practice versus games. So tell me, um, the rules, uh, they say uh, specifically what? Um, three quarters of the practice, you can hit. How much can you hit? What are the parameters? Hmm? That's right. It says that about uh, there's a 40% reduction in the amount of time that those uh, players are going to be able to have direct contact. Um, and it's going to um, allow the coaches to focus on other fundamentals as well. It's not going to take away from the amount of instruction. It's only going to take away the amount of, uh, of actual contact that occurs during those practices. Okay, but what about opening kickoff? Opening kickoff for the Pop Warner is, um, is not necessarily addressed in this uh, rule that's just come out. There's been a lot of debate, especially in New Jersey, by some physicians um, and some other groups to actually eliminate kickoff, not only in youth but in high school football, because of the possibility that, um, that the kickoff does uh, cause more significant or, or high impact or high velocity hits because you can get a running start. You're running for 30, 40 yards before you finally hit someone. Everyone would assume that you would be on board with this issue, issue trying to protect children, but there probably are critics, yes, who say um, if you limit this contact, how are young people going to be prepared for either college or the NFL? Well, that's a great point, and there are some leading experts that, that differ on that versus, uh, you know, uh, one uh, expert might say that they should uh, eliminate contact if at all possible. Others say that these are the formative years where they actually, um, where they actually learn those skills to protect themselves and learn the proper way to tackle. Well, one would assume that, of course, this it impacts the players, but the coaches as well, yes? Yeah, absolutely. I, I've talked to a lot of coaches. I've spent a lot of time talking to youth sports coaches in, in northern New Jersey here over the past two months about this topic, and a lot of them are worried because they want to make sure that they're doing the best for their players. Uh, they want to get the education and understand what concussion is and, and, and what fact from fiction is, so it is going to take some, uh, some getting used to for a lot of coaches, but it ultimately makes the game a lot safer for the kids. And what's interesting, there's also been changes in the NFL, yes? Yeah, there are. The NFL is trying to do a lot to change. Um, you know, a couple of years ago, you know, hard hits and, and some of those bone crushing hits that we would have seen would have been highlighted uh, in, in coming attractions and in, uh, on, on the web and, and in, in print. And now they really try and minimize that head to head hit.